This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. And what about our Ways World podcast? What about us? What about it? We're back! We're That's we're right. We're Welcome we're back. back. Everyone to Wade's World, the Deadpool podcast, episode 102. That's right, we're on the other side of 100. I have Bill joining me as always, the mistress of mayhem and pain and armadillos. Hey, that's armadillo. Hey, y'all, it's Lilo. Yeah, what do you think I said? Just yeah. for clarification. Yeah, no. It's the Wade's World podcast. No, I said Dillos. Lilo. Everyone's like, Charlie Esser is not here. Anyway, so yes, so yes, this is episode 102. I mean, I think our little show has evolved much over the last however many years of Hellfire. Um, you know, back in the day, we used to do the top 10 list. I came, I came up with an idea, well, inspiration struck today after, uh, <laughs> after I sent you a link last night. I'm thinking, since it's your favorite thing... Every every episode, we should come up with something. It doesn't matter. It could be a, an issue of a comic book. It could be a episode of a TV show. It could be anything. As long as somehow there's a number attached, and that number is 69. I love it. We could give it a whirl. See, I, like I said, it doesn't matter. It could be anything, but just as long as it has six, it, there's 69 involved. <laughs> the number 69. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. I was waiting. <laughs> I know. I'm getting soundboard. <laughs> the absolute worst, and I love it. <laughs> Sixty-nine. Anyway, so yeah. So here, I'll give I'll give everyone an example. So I sent. Well, I saw this last night. I just discovered it. I I'd never known what issue number it was, but. So I sent Little Hellfire to Link when I saw it yesterday. The first appearance, this is DC Comics now, of that uh, Helena Wayne version of The Huntress was from All-Star Comics number, that's right, you guessed it, number 69. You guessed it! <laughs> from December 1977. Boy, that's poor both of our comics. It, it kind of actually makes sense when you think about it. What? From the 70s? <laughs> Man, you'd do some. You had to work on that '69 back in the '70s. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Definitely. Two machetes out, people. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so, so. Oh, but that's a Deadpool. So, so yeah, so like I said, and hey, if anyone has any '69 suggestions, send <laughs> send them in to keep the lunatics at gmail dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So back to Deadpool. Mm. Still no word on an MCU Deadpool. Mm. Oh my lord. Well, I know we talked on Capes about Henry. Know, right? maybe, maybe Henry Cavill being the new Wolverine. Do you think a uh, Ryan Reynolds Deadpool would get along with a Henry Cavill uh, Wolverine? Bub. No. <laughs> um, like I said, um, Henry Cavill has a, a personality defect. And people let him get away with it because he's very handsome. I get it, but yeah, he he has issues. So I just don't see Disney putting up with that. Oh my god, is all. It would just be so funny if they put those two together just once, just for Ryan Reynolds, just be like, you know, what happened to your face? As an Easter egg in Deadpool three. What happened? Yeah, to, what happened to you? That. What happened to your face? Uh, specifically, your upper lip. What happened? Why are you so tall? What? I just need him to say, why are you so tall? What is going on with your upper lip? Is that, is that a mustache? Are those abs of steel? Oh no! It actually be because he plays in Witcher. They're like, so we're just CGIing your hair out. Is that that? That's what's going on here. Where's your horse? Get some Witcher no. Easter eggs in there. Yeah. 
Are those abs? Are those abs? Anyway, are those abs of steel? Oh. Hey, <laughs> Deadpool number seven from what year? Because <laughs> there's so many. Uh, this is the one from. Well, the series has started in 2012, but this says June 2013. Uh, <sighs> Between years. Awesome. So we kind of get a quote unquote. Well, tween wave from a South Park fan. We kind of get a quote unquote flashback issue to the 80s. Oh, the cover's great, though. I yeah. love this cover. It's, uh, it's okay. actually one of my favorite Iron Man arcs. So. An homage to Demon in a Bottle. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. It would be your favorite. Uh, of course. It, it's why I relate to RDJ so personally and was so glad for his comeback. <laughs> <laughs> that would be you, like, hungover, but still, like, drinking a milkshake and giving yourself a thumbs up in the mirror. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, every every Sunday morning. <laughs> you got this, girl. Uh, so yes, yeah, so uh... I think this is funnier than when they did the Secret Secret Wars, where he went back in time and put himself. I think it's funnier than this than that one for it, me personally. It might be. I think yeah, yeah. I mean, that one was kind of had to kind of sort of be serious because like Secret Wars was like going. It was already a a thing so they kind of just had to like fit him into it this was like a yeah yeah i mean this still so, this stuff still happened but it was more of an original story yeah i, I like how they played with the pieces mm-hmm. a long time well, it begins a long time ago at the br at the end of the bronze age of comics <laughs> It, That's it, true. Because it starts <laughs> because it starts in in all places. Uh, the Daily Bugle. As you do, I guess. There's Jonah. There. What's well, the eighties? It's Jonah. There's Robbie. It's up in York and uh, Peter Parker. I'm here for Peter. I know. You're rich. <laughs> uh, oh my lord, Harlem, Charlie Esser, Harlem. It's not the abomination this time. Obviously, the vulture couldn't have picked a worse night to crash down in Harlem. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Then, then they sit and yeah. he goes, "There's that thing about there's that thing about Penn State." Mm, a little too topical, but okay. I know this book was written in 2013 too. I was like, ooh. Let's see what else. Tony Stark is making himself a big story. He's just recycling old Catholic jokes and make. Making them into paint jokes. Psst. South Park. Oh, I thought you were going to go with the uh, Tim, uh, Seinfeld Tim Watley uh, converting the Judaism to steal the, the make the Jewish joke. Does that offend you as a Does that offend you as a Jewish person? No, it offends me as a comedian. No, not as a <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm exactly that person. Oh Lord! What about Stark? The man's been acting like Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor taking a hit, running around with his hair on fire, smoking crack, <laughs> or getting white women pregnant. Oh! Or... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of things. Starring in bad DC movies. I, gonna, I don't know. I was gonna say Superman three. Oh Lord! <laughs> we all know who's. Favorite. Sorry, Charlie. I'll be the idiot. Uh, I'm the street man. Uh, yeah, of course they bring up Obadiah Stane. Uh, <laughs> I love Peter's like S something big. Aw. Well, honestly, what were Posen and Dugan smoking? Because like I want some. I need them to just mail it to me. I will give them my PO box. Cause yeah, they can pretty crazy. Yeah. Little Hellfire was gonna podcast until she got high. So oh. I got drunk. <laughs> oh Lord, that's right. So it's, it's Len. It's Len. People should give up sobriety. Well, no, Pad's Day is a coming. I'm a quarter hour. I figured that. that's when I'll break fast. Not that. We heard like half of your uh, confession because you were cutting out there, but yes, I know. You're about to fall off the wagon. You're planning it. You're just like, you're staring over the edge. You're just like, 
you're on the edge of the diving board and you're just bouncing, waiting to just. We get it. About to dive into that that Olympic sized swimming pool of rum. We get it. <laughs> Uh, oh lord look at this Jonah has like some integrity he's like you know you know, I'm not going to kick a man while he's down and it's Robbie who says hey the celebrity stuff does sell let's win the nervous guy and then Peter's just like everyone's ignoring him so he's like guys I have a front pager for you I'm Spider-Man I was bitten by radioactive spider believe it or not but then Jameson says, go with the Vulture race riot thing. Wait, so I know Vulture crashed in the Harlem, but he did did Vulture crash into a race riot or did he cause the race riot? Both? Old white man, because I can you just I can just imagine Vulture like hitting the streets and just like a hundred people. The only white man that was allowed in Harlem in twenty thirteen was Bill Damn Clinton, okay? <laughs> I just the imagine, only way that we allowed. I just imagine a hundred people kicking and punching the vulture, screaming, "Okay, boomer." That would be if it was written tomorrow. Oh, true. Oh, <laughs> uh, you you can credit us with that, Nick Spencer. Okay. We uh, just need a little Phil and Lil in the uh, in, in the in the crowd. That's all. That's yeah. all we ask. Oh Lord. And then when Jameson says about the vulture thing, <laughs> you're what a dog. Give it to Ned Leeds. <sighs> and worst of all, you mean that pawn of Roderick? Nedward Leeds. Go kick rocks. Uh, I mean, I can forgive him being brainwashed and being the hobgoblin, but I mean, come on, Mary and Betty Brands. He likes them. Leftovers! Ooh, oh, snap! Uh, I love Jameson Parker. What are you doing here? Go get me pictures of Spider-Man. And Peter, I'll go change into my Spider-Man suit. Man, Peter even has that mullet, that 80s mullet. Uh, oh, Lord. I mean, I love, I love the 80s comic books. I do, but... And does that style not hold up? The stories are great, but that style, man. And, so it's, it's, and then foreshadowing, Peter goes down to the street and Flash Thompson's pat, parked in a handicapped spot. And then Peter gives him a problem. I wouldn't want to fight me neither. Like, <laughs> this is where that comes in. <laughs> wouldn't want to fight. No, Flash goes, I'm only going to be a few minutes. Besides, why should legless people get all the good spots? Because get it? Because Flash loses his legs eventually. Get it? Get it? Get it? Oh, Lord. Insensitive, but it's Deadpool, so it's fine. Go ahead and laugh. But then, Pete, then Deadpool comes comes around and knocks Peter out of the way and says, "Out of the way, in little Hellfire uh, fashion, out of the way, nerd." Basically, you know, basically giving him a big old uh, fight me, nerd. I'm the yeah. I'm the insufferable Deadpool. Oh my god, he's got a cape and a headband. It's the eighties. He's rocking that eighties do. You better be you better be rocking some quantum bands if you want to do that, my friend. <laughs> Get it? What about Get our it? podcast, the quantum zone? <laughs> so shameless and I love it. What about our quasar podcast? <laughs> it's gotta be longer. I need a full length one. I feel you, homie. Hey, oh, and speaking of shameless plugs, remember to get your uh, your thoughts in on uh, the Scarlet Spider stuff because Sunday morning, uh, me and the boys will be recording two episodes. Episodes two and three. Sausage Fest! Woo! Well, a wise woman once said... It's fine having a sausage fest. So see. I mean, I think we'll all find that out about the Arrowverse. Oh! Just saying. Just, just saying. Uh, speak, speaking of Arrowverse, did you see Melissa's pregnant? Oh, that's going to be a really, really, like, too, too attractive for words bait, like, child. Because <laughs> I guess they cut the season short. And they, uh, I, they better voice her in the memory. <laughs> well, they cut the season short. Yeah, I, guess, I guess they said today that's the reason why. 
Sure. Any excuses is better than none. <laughs> no. Sorry, Supergirl. You are getting written out of the universe. Make room for Superman. Make room. We got two Superboys, so you don't have to choose. I'm just saying. Oh, good lord. So then, back to the story. Deadpool uh, steals Flash's convertible. Deadpool's my name, ride sharing. As you do. <gasps> Deadpool invented ride sharing. And Peter, that's it. Peter, that's not your car. In my defense, it's parked in a handicap spot. Don't worry about it. I'm handicapped mentally, Deadpool says. So, doesn't, doesn't work, Deadpool. Well, I've, I've tried. Well, as we're told, so it's fine. Oh Lord! And then so yeah, so Deadpool takes off in Flash's car. Flash comes running up. Parker, all you had to do is just stick your foot out and trip him. You let that robber go. You let that robber go. Get it? Oh, get it? Oh, that was that was too much. Uh, How dare you? <laughs> So, yeah, you know, Peter's giving him the old, it's not my problem, it's called karma. And then he goes, oh, no, it's happening again. He's thinking, does this mean Uncle Ben's going to get shot again? <laughs> then he's thinking, or is someone going to shoot Flash? Would that be so bad? It, it was me. <laughs> if only Spider-Man were here. He is here, Flash. Shut up, Parker. Okay. Oh... Uh... And then Deadpool almost runs over a bunch of kids. <laughs> My dream. To oh no! Be it's, oh no! It's Power Pack. Uh, oh, it's not as cool. Yeah, because yeah, because uh, Deadpool says, "Chill out. You're not worth killing. I'll let your soft sales do their work for me. <laughs> You'll all be dead. Burn! You'll all be dead by grunge." Burn! Oh, uh, and then the devil, uh, or no, I'm sorry, a minor demon bamps in. Because you see a panel that says bamp and a little trademark next to it. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Wilson. My name is Vettis Esquire. Shady. That was shady, shady, shady. <laughs> I have a job I'd like you to perform for me. And Deadpool says, listen, man, the swinging 70s are over. I can't continue these casual encounters. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Speaking of ride sharing, how do you think a little? That's bit? a little. That's a little too spicy for the pepper, right there. I mean, tell you, that's a little hellfire's kind of ride sharing. Uh, Out of the gooch! Whoa! <laughs> Out of the gooch! Man, it's after it's six it. p.m. I'm sorry. Right. In the front and the back. <laughs> You get what you get. It's Wade's world. Suck it. <sighs> also, I, don't tell Master Doom. <laughs> I swear, every drop we have is like a double entendre for you. But, uh, oh no, did you see Master Doom met his people at C2E2? His Doom bots, yes, That's I right. saw. Oh, uh, oh, we need some Rob bots. <sighs> Uh, I represent some powerful interest that would like you to engage Mr. Anthony Stark. Ooh, official. <laughs> you better have hazard pay if you expect and me to... Whoa. You better have hazard pay if you expect me to go up against his bodyguard Iron Man. Because, yes, kids, that wasn't just a line in the first Iron Man movie. Until, like, 2004, I believe it was. Yeah, everyone thought Iron Man was Tony Stark's bodyguard. But this guy crickets, crickets. <laughs> this guy just comes out and says, "Uh, yeah, Tony Stark is Iron Man." Wait a minute, he's supposed to be saying that at a press conference. Excuse you. No. Uh, uh, but his sobriety is not my client's best interest. We'd like him to remain imbibing. Mm. Knock old Shellhead off the wagon, and you'll be rewarded handsomely. I do insist on several small clauses. If I'm not completely satisfied, there are certain penalties. Cough your soul. <laughs> Would you really want that thing? I know, it's gonna be dirty. So, Deadpool says, okay, where's he at? So they, the guy snaps. Oh, he, he takes him to Los Angeles, California. 
Oh my lord! Is the that... hellhole of all hellholes. Is that whole Kogan? Nerds. Is that whole Kogan, oh, brother? Uh oh! Well, those hellfires going to execute her dogs. Uh, never. <laughs> oh, oh lord! You know, for a couple bucks more, I could give you the deluxe package and make it look like a suicide. Oh lord! Ouch! Maybe run a hose from Shellhead's tail tailpipe to his helmet. <laughs> Just get him to return to the bottle, and you'll be well well rewarded. Name your price. I want a laser disc factory. Sure, the size of the discs is a problem, but I know how to fix it. I'm gonna make laser discs bigger, so you don't have to get up and flip them over in the middle of a movie. I want to get on the ground floor of this technology. Oh lord! See, so wants he wants laser discs, but he wants to make them bigger. Make it bigger. I need it bigger. Mm. So, but it's but the but the devil gets out because at the bus station, getting the people getting off the bus. Why do you weird a bus in the eighties in New York? No, thank you. <laughs> Hell, a bus in New York in twenty twenty? No, thank you. New. Yeah. Why do you weirdos collect souls? Are they pogs for demons or something? Ooh, um, that's a little too, that's a little too early. Pogs came in the 90s, just saying. I know. Uh, Deadpool. You're throwing out the line. Seems well, I hmm. guess if you're just technically talking milk caps, then it's not the 90s, but Pogs specifically, mid-90s, just saying. Yeah. Seems to me you're in, 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 uh, embezzling power from hell, which we'll get to. Oh my, oh my lord. I mean, as you do, you know, I, I can relate. Uh, and then the next page looks like an, an 80s ad, you know, like those Hostess Fruit Pies ads, but this is Deadpool going into a liquor store, and it's titled Deadpool in Liquor, I Hardly Know Her. <laughs> And just every now and then, Posen and Dugan just, they just get me right in the sweet spot. <laughs> uh, uh, so yes, yeah, so Deadpool's walking by a, 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 a liquor store. I've killed just about everything in my time. Now it's time to kill some bottles. And he walks in. Give me whatever kind of alcohol a fancy man drinks. I'm not a fancy uh, man. That would be beer. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's true. I'm not a fancy man. I have, a, I have a date with a rich industrialist and I don't want to embarrass myself. And he sees a guy behind the counter, but the guy's actually robbing the store. What is this, some weird Venom movie? <laughs> uh, whoa. But, uh, yeah, because it looks like a hostess fruit pies ad. But in the end, Deadpool buries both his katanas in the robber's chest. You killed this clerk. Now it's off to jail with you. Change of plans. Taking someone to jail is so time-consuming, and I'm on a clock. <laughs> Good lord. So, that's when... Oh, lord. Deadpool goes to Stark International with, like, a big sack full of alcohol, like he's Santa or something. <gasps> this, is what, this is what Santa brings to Little Hellfire. Yeah, that's true. Little Johnny Walker. Uh, Black Label! <laughs> <laughs> So. Little Jim Beam Apple. Just hints, people. Just hints. So Deadpool's in the office looking for clues to where Tony's at. Oh my I love this eighties costume. He's got the big DP on his chest, you know, like you know, like Daredevil has the double D. Yes. But I'm just like, I don't I don't think people would automatically think Deadpool with the DP, but sure, buddy, whatever you need. Whatever you need. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you said DP. <laughs> and I don't know what that means, people, but I heard it's a it's a dirty joke. Party in the front and the back. <laughs> and that drop actually is using context for once. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. My sweet summer child. My sweet, sweet summer children. Uh, anyway, back to the story for me and Captain DP down there in Florida. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Deadpool's checking the uh, 
Tony's checkbook and sees uh, all, all these checks written out to uh, at a hotel in the uh, in the halfway house district's premier flop. <laughs> oh wait, how much money did he? A forty-five dollar check to Jarvis. <laughs> What an a-hole. <laughs> yeah, year end bonus, it says in the memo part. $45? Doesn't it, isn't it dude like cleaning Quinjets? Even in the 80s! Isn't it dude like qu- cleaning Quinjets and stuff? I mean, $45? For year end bonus? Hey man, maybe he's giving them all cash off the top and he's only filing on like 10% of it. Who knows? It's just, just, just a paper trail for the IRS. I'm sure Jarvis is taken care of just fine. Oh, my Lord. I was going to say Scott Lang got $1,000. And then the memo it says buy some well, ants. Well, he needs it. What well, says buy some ants? Exactly. A couple of ant farms. Uh, so, see Tony in the in the hotel watching it. Oh, my Lord. Look, what, you see what he's watching on a uh, the, the TV sitting on the floor on its side. You see what he's watching? Howard the Duck. See, like I said, every now and then, Jose and Dugan know just where to scratch. They know just where to scratch before I get mad. So Tony's all drunk, watching, looking for some duck boobs. Uh, <laughs> As you do. <laughs> he says, even my favorite movie Don't can't... Don't judge his kinks. He says, even my favorite uh, movie can't cheer me up. It's when Deadpool walks in. Knock, knock. <laughs> Maid service. Oh, my. <laughs> For- First maid ever. <laughs> You're not the maid. She quit days ago. So who the hell are you? I'm the Deadpool. <laughs> the Deadpool. Your your name's the stupid. If you want to last, drop the the. <laughs> then he says, "How did you find me? You left some clues." There's a giant Iron Man sized hole in the wall. Uh... And back to the wackadoo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then Tony's like, what day is it? I'm dehydrated, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, is that alcohol? It sure is. I was hired to bring this booze to Iron Man. <laughs> and Tony's like, well, I'm not Iron Man, even though he's wearing one of the gloves and iron, exactly. panty, iron panties. Yeah. He's like Michael Jackson. It's a decorated, it's, it's, it's a fashion statement. It's fine. All right, little Hellfire, repeat after me. I say my drinking is under control, that my friends have abandoned me, that I need to drink, that I'm better than when I drink. That these holes in the wall were here when I arrived. None of it is true. When did I become the worst person I know? I love Deadpool. Here, well, here's some good news. You're not even the worst person in this room. Exactly. Uh. No, no matter how bad you feel, I feel worse. If you think what you'll do for alcohol is bad, you should see what some people will do for money or a laser disc factory. So you could, <laughs> so you could like modify this conversation between me and Lil's Hellfire, and it's just me saying you should. See, you think you'd do stuff for alcohol? You should see what some people will do for comic books. <laughs> Basically. Uh, oh Lord, I love Tony. You made me realize two things: one, don't invest in physical media; it will be all it will all be obsolete in a few years. <laughs> no. Never. And Tony, Tony says something about needing help, but uh, him and Tim and uh, Deadpool start pouring out the alcohol and putting a dagger through Little Hellfire's soul. Exactly. How dare you? Uh, this was a brilliant idea. Who did you say hired you, Captain America, Mister Fantastic? Uh. Uh, what's the guy from Power Man and Iron Fist? You know the one. Power Man? No, not that one. Iron Fist? No, not him. Anyway, you don't know him. <laughs> Ampersand? <laughs> <laughs> I need a drop of that. Ampersand? <laughs> then a big news flash. We interrupt Howard the Duck to bring you the breaking news. Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> nuclear plant is overheating... And its backup generators have failed, which is experiencing what experts call a Chinese syndrome. Um, no. And Tony's about, like, hey, you know, this is the first day of the rest of my life. He's about to suit up as Iron Man and go fix it. 
Deadpool. Hey, look, beer. Where? He clocks him in the back of the head with a bottle. Uh, Bro, all this alcohol dumped. All this alcohol abuse. Like, I just, I can't. It's like, sorry. How dare you? <laughs> sorry, Tony. This is for your own good. And anyone within the blast radius of that plant, this job needs a special kind of Iron Man. One you can never be again. So let me get Deadpool suiting up. You think it'd be a biometric lock on it, but okay. Oh, well, he's drunk. He forgot to set it. <laughs> if I'm going to beer before liquor or liquor before beer, um, beer liquor beer before liquor never sicker. Liquor before beer. What? I forget it because I don't drink beer, so I don't care. <laughs> Charlie us are right in. <laughs> so we, yeah, we get uh... never. I know whatever it is, it's never sicker. <laughs> After painting the trademark Deadpool. Hey, is that a Carl Winslow down there? Uh, oh, what was his name in uh, Die Hard? Uh, but yeah, Deadpool gives the Iron Man armor a you know a custom paint job, and then he's flying while drinking. Oh my lord, I love this. Where's that stupid nuclear reactor, Jarvis? Are you in here? Not yet. Siri, damn. Oh, um, pal. Pal. Al Paul. Oh, yes. Yeah. Al Paul, yes. Sergeant! Excuse me, Sergeant! <laughs> yippee ki hey. That's all right. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. So Deadpool gets the plant and sees a... Uh, oh, no, wait. Is that the plant? He sees a gunfight and he's like, What's this, a robbery? He's like, oh, nice try, Hollywood. I'm not falling for the movie magic you sprinkle around Los Angeles. <laughs> but Deadpool flies, so Deadpool flies right by, and, you know, the guard thinks Iron Man abandoned him. So that's when Deadpool crashes into the nuclear plant. We have to avoid a mel meltdown. <laughs> I know, who knows what we'll get? Zombies, mutants, chuds? Uh, we need to they need to cool the fuel rods down, possibly by using seawater. Mm. So Deadpool just like yanks the the rods out and dumps them into the ocean. Oh man, that that's not how any of that works. So on the Pacific Coast Highway, later we see Tony yelling at Deadpool, "We'll be cleaning up the ocean for years after what you did." Oh, you're welcome, my little Tony. And I didn't mind saving the nuke plant while you took it out. <gasps> Get it? My little Tony instead of my little pony. Get it? Because it's the 80s. Get it? It's the 80s. Back in the 80s. <laughs> A teenage Charlie S. are playing with his My Little Ponies. Ugh. And then the devil shows back up after Tony's driving away. How dare you, Deadpool? Do you know what you've done? Yes, I lived up to my end of the bargain. Uh, and he says, what are you talking about? Stark is more sober than ever. You hired me to make sure Iron Man drank. And Iron Man did drink. I could barely work that crazy suit. I was so buzzed. It's true what they say, kids. Abusing alcohol is like being bitten by a radioactive bad decision. Okay, that's not the greatest analogy, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> He's like, and I was, so yeah, captain of bad, captain of bad decisions. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then of course it's Marvel. So who's the who's the demon's boss? Comes to pick, uh, yell at him. Mephisto. Uncle Ben, what up, Uncle Ben? No. Hey, he killed the wrong Belushi. So yeah, he should absolutely Ooh. burn it out. Sorry, John. Uh, say, oh, look, Deadpool even says, and say hi to Uncle Ben for me. See? Damn. It's all been there in plain sight, guys. Again, but Marvel still didn't have the guts to, like, throw out some comment about, bring me another marriage. <laughs> no, the wounds were still too, they were too fresh. They'll always be too fresh. That's the sad thing. Uh, and then we get another bam before the last page, and Deadpool's like, "What are you doing here?" And of course, it's the '80s, so we see Cable. Wade, you've got to come back with me. It's your kids, Marty. It's your kids. What, Doc? Are they turning like a holes or something? 
What happened to your arm and your head? Like, well, that explains where I was until 91. Oh. <laughs> Love it. What happened to your arm, your head, and your everything? Back to the future. We have to get my arm back from Senor Sinister, Mr. Sinister's brother from Mexico. Um, Yikes. Um, There's no time to explain. Oh, my favorite part of this issue. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't comics usually 22 pages? We should have two more. <laughs> all right. All right. I, I love this there, but here we go. I may not be able to return you for 10 years. Get it? Because Deadpool's like, I guess that explains where I am until 91. Yikes. Yeah, but then in this first... And the drinking game. Yeah, but yeah, but it looks like they're working together. Then, but then in New Mutants 98, they're fighting. Well, I guess Deadpool got hired. Uh, well, you know, he, it's Deadpool. Of course get, they're fighting. Gotta get paid. So, Love Hellfire, what did you think? Not a, not too bad of a story, huh? Solid B+. Plus. I love the humor for most of it. The artwork's all right, but the story is... Like, usually, let's be honest, a Deadpool story is just kind of like... It's not like really character driven the plots aren't like really cohesive but this issue was and that was a surprising change of face and i enjoyed it and alcohol exactly well the perils of alcohol let's just all be honest alcohol abuse i'll allow it (laughs) the kids shouldn't be drinking it was in the continuity i know remember kids hell the kids can't even smoke anymore so they're gonna take the vapes Although I don't know, Cigar- um, I, n- I never smoke cigarettes. It, I mean, it seems kind of cool, but vaping. I just mean, have you seen the studies? Vaping is like the number one cause of cervical cancer in men. Get it? <laughs> and you know, I was gonna say on that note. See you next Thursday. We're out of here. I was gonna say. Get it? I, uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I probably- <laughs> I pro I probably like insulted Lil Hellfire's younger boyfriend. You know, he's probably dating some. Oh, I would never date somebody who vapes. Oh, never. Don't you smoke cigarettes? Occasionally, when I'm on a diet. <laughs> what diet? Now, I need more cancer in my life. Eh, it'll be my luck. I'll give everybody else around me cancer, and I'll live to be a thousand. Who knows? <laughs> She's too stubborn to die. That's how it goes. The devil ain't ready for me yet, so he just kind of lets me live. <laughs> You're gonna take that throne, little hellfire. He knows. He knows. She's in. She's in. She's in. She's been traded, man. Why do you think she calls herself hellfire? It all come full circle one day. <laughs> and on that note, I think she'll reveal her real name. Don't call me Karen. <laughs> Uh, don't say the I word. Anyway. Ne- so next time, well, next week will be a comic capers, but hey, more Iron Man. Iron Man 247 and Incredible Hulk 361. That's right. So not only we get Iron Why Man. Why is Phil on an Iron Man kick? Find out. <laughs> hey, at least we got Joe fix it next week. Oh, maybe Charlie will actually listen. It'll be fine. <laughs> this is all Charlie Esser bait? Like, what's going on here? Hey, I told him in July when we do the Captain America stuff, like the first episode is when Steve Rogers first made, meets D-Man. I'm like, you want in on that? He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, stay tuned for Charlie Esser guest appearance this summer. And then next, uh, then two weeks, uh, Deadpool 36... Remember that little Axis uh, event? Ugh. Why do you hurt me like this, Phil? Shut up, bro. <laughs> he you... just loves to like give me a cut and then like pour salt and lemon juice in the wound. Shut up, or twenty twenty one's gonna be all brand new day on Spider Cast every time, every episode. Don't threaten me with a good time. Threaten you with some <laughs> damn slot. <laughs> You know, honestly, I enjoyed half of it. Honestly, half of it. The other half, not so much. Give you some Carly Cooper. <laughs> as long as it's not Yurik and Lee, 
We'll be fine. <laughs> How dare you? But yes, anyway, so send your thoughts on those upcoming issues. Hey, if you have any interesting 69 facts, uh, send them in. Uh, any good uh, mixed drink recipes for Little Hellfire, send it all. Send in the random nonsense. Email us. Capes and- mixed drinks. Rum only, please. Rum only. Put the lime in the coconut. Ah, capes and lunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail 614-382- Two seven three seven. That's six one four thirty eight. Cape for your illiterate types, and follow us on social media. You can find it all in one convenient, handy package. <laughs> uh, he said package. <laughs> that's Linktree. L i n k t r dot e e slash Capes and Lunatics. And ho, oh, hey, yeah, Cape. Our website's back in business, so go uh, visit Capes and Lunatics dot org. Although you can find that link on Linktree also, so. And remember, Bill just feels real proud of himself. That's all. I'm special. Anyway, and uh, support the sponsors. Well, this episode seemed like drinking, uh, '80s puns, but no. Support the sponsors: Tweaked Audio, Hunt a Killer, Pod Life, the book now in digital and paperback, and go buy it on go go buy it on Amazon.com. And when you do. Use the link to the Southgate Media Group link. Ah, uh, right, scroll right down. It's right there in the show notes. So use the Amazon link to buy your uh, copy of Pod Life the book, and send some money to the company to help us bring you such fine products as Wade's World, the Deadpool podcast, and the By Master Doom his uh, r- uh, Rob bots. Just an army of robots drinking coffee. Anyway. M- <laughs> Miss Lilith Hellfire. Hey, he's made fun of me saying Gotham for how many years? It's payback time, boy. Anyway, <laughs> Lilith Hellfire. If you nerds want to fight me or uh, just chat with me on the interwebs, you find me on Twitter via at Lilith Hellfire and, of course, on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire 69. Fight me, nerd. Dong is a medical term. Fight me, nerds. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Ah. Uh... If you want to fight her or whatever F word, just yes. At Lil Hover. Wow! What? <laughs> throw back to throw back to sociology class 101, freshman year of college. Oh the four Fs. Uh when's the party start? I don't know. It'll just be the two of us. Anyway. Thank you for joining us. No, we're not drunk. Well, I'm not. I don't know about her. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Wade's World, the Deadpool podcast. We were alive in the 80s. He's barely. I know. I know. Here we go. Nah, I'm old. Old as dirt. I was I was watching Transformers and Master of the Universe back when it was good, kids. Back when it before it was cool. Back in the eighties. Uh, so yes, join us next week for more Iron Man and the best Hulk Joe Fixit. Until then, maximum That's effort. That's Nightwing PDP. <laughs> maximum effort, zero common sense. And we will see you next Thursday. That's what she said. <laughs>